I'm Roy Huntington, editor of American Handgunner Magazine. You know, one of the most important things about shooting a handgun is controlling the trigger press. And well, with the wide cross-section of handguns out there, there are several different actions, which means that you may have to learn different ways of pressing the trigger. For instance, today we're going to talk about a double action revolver and how it does a transition from double action to single action and back and forth depending on what mode you're choosing. So this happens to be a Smith & Wesson Night Guard uh, customized by Magnaport. So let's get right into it here and hopefully you're going to learn a little bit more about how do you control a double action trigger pull on a double action revolver. And what we have here is a double action trigger pull or if you cock the hammer we have a single action trigger pull. So if you're going to manipulate this gun by cocking it, the same rules apply here. You want a comfortable firing grip, the pad of your finger on the trigger, and then you want to press, press until the hammer falls. What you don't want to do is go like that because that will throw the muzzle off, it'll throw your sight alignment off, and then no matter how carefully you had aligned the sights before, you're going to be missing what you're aiming at. Now let's talk about double action. In this situation, what you want is a good firm firing grip and you're going to want a little more finger on the trigger, maybe as far as the first uh, knuckle. When you stage the trigger for double action, all the other rules apply. Smooth, steady pressure until you feel the sear about to let and then you essentially have a single action trigger pull and you pull through smoothly. Hopefully that imaginary dime you had on that front sight didn't get knocked off because that's the whole point. You don't want to disturb the sight picture by an erratic or inconsistent trigger pull. Now this has not been a comprehensive overview or any kind of thing that resembles training on how to press a trigger. What I mostly wanted to do was just introduce you to some things that you need to keep in mind as you go on on your own and learn more. I'm Roy Huntington from American Handgunner Magazine and thanks for joining me in my office today.